The National Assembly has approved an extension for the implementation of the capital aspect of the 2023 Appropriation Act, moving the deadline from June 30, 2024 to December 31, 2024. The decision followed a request by President Bola Tinubu, who sought the extension to ensure the full implementation of the budget. Now, both the Senate and the House of Representatives passed the bill to amend the 2023 Supplementary Appropriation Bill, thus extending its implementation period. The emergency plenary preceded over by Senate President Goswil Akwabio on Thursday expedited the legislative process, allowing the bills to pass through all three stages in a single day. Senate leader and sponsor of the executive bill, Senator Okwayami Bamidele, led the debate on general principles of the bill. Lawmakers quickly supported the passage, recognizing the need for extension. Distinguished colleagues, you will recall that on Wednesday, 20th March 2024, this act were amended to allow for exhaustive implementation of capital projects under the act to the 30th day of June 2024. The extension will expire on Sunday, 30th June 2024, and many projects are yet to be completed. Extending the lifespan of the budget is necessary to execute projects in order to ensure that no projects are abandoned. To leave out the specter of abandoned projects in Nigeria, Mr. President, to all intents and purposes, I think we should resolve to allow this bill to pass appropriately. If for an act to amend the 2023 Appropriation Act in order to extend the implementation year from 30th June 2024 to December 31st, 2024, and for related matters 2024, third reading taken and passed. A bill for an act to amend the 2023 Supplementary Appropriation Act in order to extend the implementation year from 20th day of June 2024, the 31st day of December 2024, and for later matters 2024. Third reading taken and passed. I thank you for your contributions. I thank you for your patriotic duties. And most especially, I thank you for your timely intervention, which will enable us and enable the executive arm of our government to continue with projects without abandonment. 